And I know it goes without saying that this past season was, or this past year was really trying for everybody um, in the NFL or not. I'm just curious for you, if you, you know, learned anything about yourself or, or anything through this past process that's helpful for you now, or that, you know, would maybe be a silver lining that you have learned about yourself. Yeah. Uh, one of the things I definitely learned about myself this past year was that I don't need to be so safe that I need to continue reaching and striving forward. Um, I think I'll openly admit that my, my time in, in Carolina, I was kind of happy about the deal I had signed and I, a little bit of complacency set in and that can't happen. Uh, no matter what, I need to be striving and, and reaching for the next step. And if I do slip or if I do fail, it, I fell because I was reaching for greatness, not it was snatched away from me, like holding on to something so tight. So that's definitely something I learned being out um, and um, coming back. So it's definitely one more thing I'm bringing back that fight, that grind, that never let complacency set in again, especially when it comes to something like this, like football. It's early still, but um, since you had the starting experience at the tail end of your time in Minnesota, and then obviously last year with Carolina, are you dead set on, you know, going after the, the role up? Denise said of what you're coming in here to do, is it, you know, anything like that? Um, I'm coming in to try, I am coming in to be like the best version of myself and compete for the starting spot. Um, so I would love to. Uh, if that is where it shakes out after camp and everything like that. But I'm coming in to try to make an impact and to bring as many of the traits that I have to help the defense out. Hopefully it works out like that. Steven, um, last year, this organization kind of went through a lot with the death of George Floyd happening here and um, players use their voices a lot more than they uh, ever have since I've been covering the team. Eric Hendricks, uh, you know, speaking mm -hmm. out with Fadi Adenabo, I know you're close with him. Um, just uh, what was your sense for um, just how that might be different when you're coming back? Um, sort of the ability to um, connect with the community in a different way, even just a, a year later since you left and now came back? Uh uh, I feel like it's more important, or at least there's been more importance placed on our ability as athletes in the region to connect with our like local market and the people in our community, the same people that invest their money and their time into us. Um, I feel like it's only right that we fight for their behalf on a bigger platform, bring awareness to issues that may be overlooked nationally, um, especially after uh, what happened here with George Floyd. So. Um, if anything, you just got to keep building on that and continue using your platform to bring awareness to situations that impact your community as an athlete. So I'm excited to be back here and be back on <clears throat> uh, the committee or asked to be back on the committee uh, with EK. And I know guys like uh, Amir were on it, uh, Alexander Madison, uh, EK, uh, Anthony Harris. So like, uh, at least when I was here, those were the guys that were on it. So I'm excited to try to get back on that committee as well. Chris? Oh, Steven, I thought it was uh, interesting that you kind of said maybe a little bit of complacency said in last season. On the other side of the coin, I mean, basically, you know, you took a pay cut this year, you're making less this year than last year. Can that kind of help fuel you as well? Yeah, everything's fuel. You know what I mean? Like, you, you want to win. You want more money. Uh, you want respect. Um, everything is more fuel. So you, I think you hit it right on the head right then. Are you still into, um, you know, the cryptocurrency world? Do you know about the new rule, the tax rules for Bitcoin? I think PayPal just acquired me uh, that's into the uh, cryptocurrency world. Is that still a passion of yours? Um, cryptocurrency. Am I still in it? Absolutely. Did I hear about the new uh, tax rules? No. Uh, so thank you for that. Um, uh, I've been into a lot of different uh, things when it comes to investments. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely into the cryptocurrencies for sure. Um, do a lot of research before jumping into it. But I think it's definitely something to, uh, it's, it's fun. Uh, to, a, to a degree. If you don't have too much money in it, it can be a lot of fun watching the market and how it responds to certain events in society and stuff like that. So I think it's interesting at least.